Pandadoc tutorial, how to use Pandadoc as a beginner. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can start using Pandadoc to create your own e-signatures and how to use the Pandadoc platform. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on to pandadoc.com and then you're just going to click on start a 14 day trial over here. You can click on the top right as well. And then you're just going to sign up for Pandadoc. So it's pretty simple. You just have to add your work email and your password so i'm just going to do that and i am going to add my own password over here and i'm just going to click on sign up over here and then you are just going to try our free e-sign plan over here so if you don't like have a business email specifically you can just click on their free e-sign plan and then you can just click on free account and then you're just going to head on over to the new sign up page over here. And then you're just going to enter your first name, last name, your email, and then your phone number and password. So I'm just going to enter all this information or you can also enter your Google account or LinkedIn account. So I'm going to enter all of this information and get back to you guys in a second. So once you have done that, this is going to be your basic dashboard. On your left, you have your navigation panel and on the top right, you have your basic account settings. Now you can see over here that on your left, you have your dashboard, then you have your documents, you have templates, you have forms, you have your content library, catalogs, contacts and reporting or analytics. And then below that, you have your inbox, your add-on store. So if you want to add any integrations, then you can add them from here. And then you have your basic settings as well. So to get started with Pandadoc, you need to understand the basic form and what this really is about. So Pandadoc really allows you to take a uh, simple approach to signing or uh, writing documents and they have simplified the process of signing documents by e-signatures and everyone knows that there isn't any more time to sign documents by hand and no one really does that anymore. So you need to have a e-signature in today's business world. So for that, what you can just do is you can just click on new document. You can click on document over here and then you can start creating your own document and you can see on your dashboard all of the documents that you have so uh, currently you can see I have created like a simple document and I'm just going to open that up. So you can see over here, this is what a sample invoice is currently looking like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create your invoice from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my dashboard and to start creating your document for your signatures. Uh, it could be an invoice. It could be any kind of document. You're just going to click on new document at the top right over here. And then you're just going to click on document over here. And then you can search for different templates. So you can start with a blank template as well. So you can just write your own email or write your own invoice, whatever you want to, if you want that, or you can use one of their templates. So you have a sample sales proposal. You have like three types of sales proposals. You have a sample invoice template as well. And let's search for invoice over here. And then you can just search for the kind of template that you're looking for just to fill that out. So let's say we want to create a invoice. So I'm just going to click on the sample invoice and I'm going to click on add one item. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add the role of the sender so that is probably going to be you as with your own email and then you're going to send this to your client so the person that is receiving this email so whoever you want to send the email to you're going to add that as well so i'm just going to add my own emails in both of these or i can just skip this for now because i'm just showing you guys an example of how to set up your emails or your documents and how you're going to create those emails and documents so once you do that and enter that or you can skip that and later on enter how many people you want to send this email to you're going to be led to the preview section of the template so this is the template and what i'm going to do is you can just click on any of the sections to remove them or edit them so let's say i want to create a email sending a business invoice for a bill of some kind for some uh, t-shirts or something like that so let's say the sender name is going to be jane doe so i'm just going to add my first name which i'm using the business name for jane doe and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to add Jane, or I'm just going to make it all caps, Jane, and then I'm going to add dough like this. So you're going to click on the value section and then you're just going to add your text. Then you're going to add your address and phone number as well. So I'm going to add my address. It could be XYZ Street. So I'm just going to add that and I'm going to add 000 as my phone. And now I'm just going to fill out the rest of this as well. So you can just enter the values. I'm going to enter all names. So I'm going to add like the first name of the bill, the last name, okay. 
and I can add the invoice number, so it could be 001, and then I could add the payment terms, whatever terms there are, you can add those as well if you have any, and if you want to add like new sections, so on your right you have your content blocks, so you can add any blocks you want, so if you want to add like text in the beginning of the invoice to, you know, write something, you can add drag and drop that, you can drag and drop any of these fields, and then at the bottom, you're going to see your signature, so you can assign this to a certain person, so you can assign this i'm going to assign this to myself and then i can click on signature over here and drag and drop another signature block right beside it and then i can assign that to another person as well so you can create like multiple signature forms on a singular invoice so i can assign this as well so I want to maybe assign this to a separate person. I can add another recipient and assign it to them. Or I can just uh, also leave it blank. So maybe I want to send like the same kind of email to five or six or seven different people. Then I can just simply assign, like leave it blank, not assign it to anyone and send it in bulk. And in that way, multiple people can sign the email. So maybe if it's like a some kind of security form, then the people that have signed it can join the event and the people that haven't cannot. So so after that you have your content section and then on your right you have your content library as well so any of their featured content you can get that as well and then you have your design section below that so you can change the design or overall look of your email or document and then you also have variables so these kinds of values that web is inputting you can input them from here as well and then you have your app integration so you can have a payment request attachment you can have attachments you can have profit margin you can also integrate hubspot and pipe drive as well so you can add any of those integrations and the best part is adding payment requests so you can enter payment requests so this could easily simplify your payment system as well if you integrate your payment methods as well so once you have created your invoice you're just going to click on send and then you can also click on your three dots over here and click on settings and have set a expiration date for your email as well so maybe you want this document to expire in seven days so maybe if this payment is not cleared within seven days you don't want it anymore so you can set a expiration date for your document as well now this is just the basic of how to create your document and how to send it and what are e-signatures so this is what your basic documents are going to look like then once you have a hang of that if you go into your dashboard you're going to be able to see all of your documents so any kind of documents that are waiting for approval that have been sent that have been viewed any edits any kind of documents that are awaiting payment paid documents and documents that were declined to be signed so these are all going to give you just analytics and then on your actual reporting section this is only locked to a premium version so if you're using a premium version of pandadoc you can view the an analytics section and get detailed analytics on your documents so pandadoc is a great tool for e-signatures and i do really personally like to use it you can create your own custom little signature and use it on all of your e-documents but it is not available for free so it starts at the essentials version starting at 19 dollars per month per user and then the business this version with $49 per month per user and then the enterprise version is dependent on the kinds of needs you have so the essential versions has a rich media drag and drop editor pricing tables document analytics and on the $49 version you get CRM you get content libraries and you also get custom branding and approval workflows as well with bulk sending and forms available as well so both of these are great plans and I do recommend that you opt for the essentials version starting out if you just want to do e-signatures but if you have to do bulk sending and you have to approve workflows and then you can definitely check out their business version as well so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video